today we're here to discuss an issue and a topic that become an international issue. It's about this tropical house music that is mistaken for dancehall. What Richie's saying basically right now is, as a lot of you may know that Rihanna just sampled and reworked Richie Stevens' Sail Away Rhythm. So Rihanna basically here, the production, loved it, and her new single is basically half that. You understand? It's influenced by that. You understand? So what the problem we're having right now is, and what we want to talk about, we'll talk to people about. We don't know what is this tropical, right? Now, tropical one. Tropical storm. <laughs> tropical house. Tropical, tropical house. house. <laughs> this tropical house thing that they call it. Um, this type of music, like Justin Bieber sang to me, Richie, is a dancer. Straight up dancer. Adam Levine and, and what do you mean, Roxy there, Roxy. Straight City. up dancer. dancer. This Rihanna song right now is straight, straight up dancer, dancer to me. You understand? So we kind of have a problem. You understand with people that say tropical house and not really get the genre. It you credit, you understand it right for credit. Well to be honest, Diggy, um, let me just give a lot of credit to Rihanna herself. I thank you very much, Rihanna, for selecting my rhythm, for um using it in your latest single work. Work, 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 work. Which is now a major hit across the world. Big up to the producers as well for using for sampling my rhythm. Um the problem is there are some people who, even though Rihanna gave full credit, they're trying to discredit our music and our culture by rebranding it, relabeling it, and calling it Tropical House. That is bullshit. Dancehall music is a music that's been here for decades. It's not just music, it's a culture. It's, it's a movement. It's the vibe of the Jamaican people flowing through the streets of Jamrock. That's what dancehall is. The poorer class of Jamaican people back in the 60s Find a place called dancehall to escape the social pressures. But there are a set of people now who busy around the corner trying to repackage and remarket and rebrand dancehall music and call it the tropical house. Come on now, man. Let's expose those people. Thank God for social media that we have a voice now who can say to the world, some people are treating us bad by doing this and we need to stop them for them to understand. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you know that that Rolling Stone tweeted I think to say that Rihanna's Tropical House song <laughs> is doing well. And now, right. based on the, 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 um, the heat that is going over social media, I would like to think, Rolling Stone now retract their statement and name Rihanna's song Dancehall instead of Tropical House. That is what we want because, you know, sometimes we talk about this thing and people say, who are some people and who are they that we're talking about? Did we just, Richard Steve just told it, a big magazine. You understand, like Rolling Stone calling Rihanna a dancehall track. They've been doing entertaining journalism for some from in the 60s. So for they to be calling Rihanna a song a tropical house song, that is like terribly misleading, man. Yeah, terribly misleading. Because you have to understand, say, when somebody said dancehall, Rihanna did a dancehall track or a reggae track, it benefit the journey. You understand, and a lot of us can bask in the glory of that. And a lot of artists here in Jamaica would love the opportunity to, for people to be looking at us because right now. You don't even know in a Richie. There's not a lot of reggae song or dancehall song from Jamaica playing on international radio. So when Justin that. Bieber do a dancehall track for Rihanna them, we would love people to call it what it is. You understand? So at least it'll keep the genre alive. You understand? That's all it's about. And Biggie, we'd also like to big up the nerd writer who did an outstanding, outstanding um, presentation about the difference of tropical house and dancehall. We respect you, sir. Big up yourself every time. So this tropical house, you need to put it where it belongs and give dancehall its due credit. Give it its ratings and its props. We need that. Reggaeton came from dancehall. Mm. Came from reggae. Came from Steely and Cleavy. Them bow rhythm with Shabba Ranking. But they call it reggaeton. So at least them still give it, you know, it's new. Reggaeton, you understand? Yes, yes. So we still live with that. But when you're going to take it and totally change the name and say it named Tropical House. You know, well, when I know so dancehall, them take totally push out dancehall and reggae. Out of the marketplace, because everything that we sound like dancehall, Tropical House, and that is what we have a problem with. Let's get this story straight. We're not hitting out against other people coming into the genre right. and loving the culture. As a matter of fact, I personally love when different artists from different countries get involved in the genre and the culture. But all we're asking is for people to remember to give the credit. It shows in a very positive way. Basically, when you hear those type of music that Rihanna and Justin Bieber and all the other artists 
are doing and it's successful, it's not tropical house, it's reggae or dance Reggae music, dance hall music. Yes, we know it and we are exposing people and we are trying to hide it. See? Big up, Big up yourself, world, every time. See? Bless. Work, 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 work. work. You see me, I be work, 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 work. <laughs>